Whenever you need me, you're gonna find me in the park, you know, especially in the summertime. I'm from the community. I'm from I'm from the complex. I grew up there from the age of seven, coming from the low east side, and uh Dightman for me is home. It's my backyard, you know. My name is Ken Stevens, CEO, founder of the Dayton Basketball Tournament. This journey started with us just getting tired of going to other parks and playing pickup. We started inviting teams to our park to compete. Six teams, a uh, few dollars, uh, bring your own shirts, 30 something years ago. The journey's been good. There's so much, so much that's going on within that park that's good for the community. It was, was amazing for people to come back outside and see people again and be a part of the landscape of what we do in New York City basketball. Opening day. Security? Yeah. Kenny, man, what's up? Opening day is a, a great day. You wanna hear something? They're coming. Opening day, they're coming. They're coming today. Tiger Whistler's Open a day for, for me, I'm excited. I'm excited to see what it's gonna be like because we're waiting to see like the anticipation of the, the teams, the ball players, and kind of the community, the fans. Basketball to Dykeman is is everything. This is what we do. This every is what day. every day we come to Dykeman faithfully. Yeah. We're gonna have some fun, we're gonna see the game. Gonna... I'm super excited because about like six of my friends hit me up like, oh, you're going to Dykeman today? Like, is this, uh, we all should go? Even my girlfriend was like, oh, we're going to Dykeman today, right? Listen, now when Dykeman is here, you'll see the neighborhood wake up. Like... You know, we've been sitting down for so long that kind of got to get used to being around like a lot of people again, you know? Us coming out of this pandemic, everybody coming outside for the first time. The gift is we get to give back to the community and Kind of do what we've actually been doing for years. That guy's playing, right? Y'all playing? Playing? We eat, sleep, and think basketball. And when we get to the park, we're thinking about the activation of the day, the teams, the community. You see what I did for you guys? Love, man. All those different things that makes Dykeman basketball run. There'll be a man there. There'll be a person walking the catwalk. So making sure nobody climbs over. Gotcha. Right, Sharon? Sharon. But the community calls me Ms. B. So one of the uh, executives in the organization. So if you don't talk to me, nine times out of ten, you don't talk to her. Thank you. Hi, my name is Sharon Bond, a.k.a. Miss B, a.k.a. First Lady of Dykeman. And for me, the ride to the park was, like, amazing. Like, I'm going to work. And as opening day, I'm actually going to work, you know, so you get a different feeling, um, you know, because the... The, as soon as the people see you, hey, Miss B, Miss B, Miss B, Miss B. Hey, what's happening? It was so good to see people and be back outside. It was amazing. It really was. The line was down the block. I think I ran down the line and just high-fived about maybe 30 to 40 people and ran back up. Hi, how are you? Um, human beings are used to touch. We're used to communicating. And so we all miss that. We get the Dykeman up to, wait, put the foot up there like this. That's how excited this man is to be here. You see that says Dykeman right there? Wait a minute, you got Dykeman shorts on too, Santa? He got the fire and ice on right now. So this is Eric Weaver. This is the referee assigner for 15 years. I love when I see him, especially when it's a women's game, just in case the referee is running late. I see oh, him up real well, quick. That was nice, that was nice. Yeah, okay. It's like a family reunion, to tell you the truth. It's like you ain't see your family in over a year and you're just happy to see them. <laughs> Ice! <laughs> oh, he made me smile. <laughs> Got a lot of media out here today.
My name is Isaiah Brown. I'm the vice president of Dykeman Youth Worldwide. Isaiah Brown, how you doing? You don't get a chance to see him because he's always moving around. Oh, okay. So happy that we got a chance to make the introduction. Here you go. Oh, man. O opening day is always opening day, right? Opening day this year, you know, coming off of the effects of the pandemic. Woo! The energy was crazy. The park was crazy. It was just, it was, it was, for me, it was business as usual. Um, but um, to everyone else, because of the experiences that they faced during the pandemic, um, to see the park up and running again uh, was just a proud moment for our community, and, 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 it, and it kind of, it kind of was one of the things that kind of got us back into motion again. Our tournament was one of the first events that happened as the city opened up, so you know it was a sign that the city is open. I miss you guys, man. I know we've been gone for a minute. Let's have a good, safe, friendly. Hostile, hostile, hostile summer! I, I think it's a comeback for all of us to see the kids back in the park and see everybody having a good time and enjoying themselves. Oh, it's, there's, there's no greater feeling. You guys are here, welcome back! Let's go! Just to see the line to the bridge gave me chills. Oh, 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 oh. Everybody know me as Chichain. The voice is Dykeman. Dykeman, what's the vibe? The voice of New York City. I, I knew, I knew that day was special. People needed it. We all wanted it. But just to see all the people that have been supporting it for years come early, stand online, that was dope. I personally want to send my love, but y'all already know what time it is today. It's that uh, 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 I think that uh, felt uh, like my uh, first day uh, 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 ever calling the game. Like that. I like to feel the energy when I walk in. You know, sometimes I walk in, I feel like the players too. They show me love, they clapping, they standing. But just that day was a big deal. That was a big deal. Go back up, Tom. Go back up. You're a big guard. Walk our ass down. There's no better stage in New York City than Dayman Basketball. End of the day, you're gonna see good basketball. You're gonna see uh, hostile, intense, and a friendly family environment. That's, that makes sense. From shaking the gates, from um, clapping, booing. Like I, I've seen it all, but that's them. That's their vibe. You don't know what vibe you're gonna get in when you walk in Dykeman, but if you give 110 percent, the crowd and the fans and the people are gonna give you 100 percent back. I want to send my love from my heart from the Dykeman family. I personally want to send my love. The fans are very knowledgeable of the game, and when you come to play, you gotta come to play. You're not coming. Oh, I'm an NBA guy and I'm just coming to have fun. You boy, you crazy? These guys can't wait for you. They're waiting for you. They're waiting for you to come on and, and think about taking a night off. They're waiting for you. If you're not putting that uniform on to go 110%, then don't do it to yourself. I need water, bro. Yo, man, went on three, huh? One, two, three, one. 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 Players already know what time it is when they get there. A lot of these players, they play professionally, so this is this is just another game to them, and they know that their reputation is on the line. They want to win the championship, obviously. So, they, I mean, they're, they're pretty much locked in. There are usually really good matchups at Dykeman. A lot of calls are made by teams and coaches. So you really don't know who's gonna pop out. 
any given night, you're going to play against maybe two and three pros on one team or two and three pros playing in the tournament. Dominican Power, you know, from Bingo's All Stars to Take No Prisoners to Skull Gang. You know, again, twin another one from Skull Gang, who Joel Santana's younger brother. He brought J.R. Smith out, he brought Kyle Anderson out. And they also like three-time champions. So again, Diamond Basketball is different. Came a red carpet the street ball, but if it's if it's Dykeman. It's one of the great things about Dykeman basketball is you never know who you're gonna see. Carmelo Anthony is there. KD, we have billionaires in there. Floyd Mayweather. I was like, no shade. I don't think nobody, no other parks is bringing that kind of celebrity role. You never know. You you really don't. I don't want to name drop. You know, I might even be there. You know, we were nicknamed um, Dykeman Square Garden. That's one of our nicknames, Dykeman Square Garden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it, another name for our park is Dykeman Square Garden. Uh, and that is because... It has a certain atmosphere that can't be duplicated by anywhere else. The level of detail that Kenny pays to the park to make it feel like a professional arena. If you've ever been to Madison Square Garden and, and the Knicks are playing and you've got all that energy going in there, well, we have the same energy in, you know, in the park. The stands alone just shows that it's a community and it's a it's a community that, you know, shows up all the time. What we've done is given certain areas in the park have sections. We have a Malibu section. We got the cookout section. I introduce you to the Malibu section. This is the nine to five section right here. And those are people that just get off of work at five, six o'clock. They come watch games for two hours. You have the get money section. Why do they call us the get money section? Because they get money. Now they ain't never gave me none, but they get money. We have the pardon me, excuse me section. When you come over here in this section, this is what we say. Now follow me. Pardon me, excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, pardon me, excuse me. Every section have people who consistently show up um, and they have fun. We go home, we return to our families and we come back out the next day and we do it all over again. It just, it just, it's amazing. I really, I don't think me coming to Dykeman might have changed, changed my life a lot. Cause it's just amazing to see fans and everybody come together like that. Seven days a week, Dykeman basketball. When you come to play a Dykeman, you come to play basketball. Come to play real basketball. If you're not able to beat those guys, then you're not able to match that type of intensity and match that type of atmosphere, then why do you want to play here? No disrespect, there's tournaments out there for you for that. This is not what I'm about. For sure. It's all about us and the win. So if you ain't a part of that, be mad. Push back. Let's play harder. Hey, play harder than us. We all good? Let's play the game, y'all. Let's go. All three together. All three hard work. Hey, hey. How you doing? Well, championship day is emotional. Let's go there. Let's start it there first. Championship day. So championship day was very interesting. Every year is explosive. Oh, it's amazing. It's intense, hostile. The finale at Dykeman, it's crazy. <laughs> Championship game, Dykeman, we here. Definitely the place to be. Tonight gonna be a good night. It's gonna be on 1,000. It's gonna be very electrifying tonight. 
So prep yourself for motion picture. It got to feel like opening day times to championship day. First, you pray for good weather. It's the championship game. It's the culmination of the tournament. All of our team is on deck that day. A very long day, but at the same time, it was very exciting. Everything got to be perfect. The whole group in the whole, I can't, I can't have that tonight. OK, that's good. <laughs> all the trash together, if you can come from over here and just put all this down this way. Everybody is on point to get the job done and to end up on a good note. Set up the park, make sure everybody is available so that we can have a good, exciting championship day. We contact the 34th precinct to make sure that they that we have extra manpower. We have them come in today a little early so that we can be able to clean up the park for our big event today. Put the two best referees out there. This is the top ref indictment. He will be doing the game tonight. I gotta produce something to put it on tape. <laughs> The DJ, <laughs> the announcers. We have to make sure that we have enough seating. The vendors, um, you know, the pot the leos, chicken kebabs, the shish kebabs, the, the lemonade, the passion fruit um, drinks, everything. It was everything. First of all, just get there early so I can get you a good seat. We already know it's going to be a packed house. When you start seeing all the lines that was down the block. 2,000 people, 2,500. You know, you're going to get a lot of energy that's going to happen that day. The energy and the atmosphere definitely brings more excitement to the game itself. The players know that they have to come with their A game. The two best teams are playing, so you know you're going to get good basketball. That's a street ball highlight, honestly, a Dykeman Championship game. Everybody's trying to figure out, like, who's the new top dog, right? Again, the, the champions are the champions until the champion gets beat. TMT, the money team, we're going to do our thing tonight. I don't know whoever came up red carpet the street ball, but if it's, if it's Dykeman, Floyd Mayweather, so it's like. Then that's when the party started. They got to see the girls playing, um, which is huge. Roll three up, there it goes, basket good. Shy Money XL here, heavy rain. The court is usually this big, it wind up being this big. Sidelines, baselines, gone, gone. Everyone is on the court. Over the years, they've learned to play in the oval, that's what we call it. In the oval, you have to actually be there to understand it, know the playing it. The ball players love it. Nobody's like, yo, I'm not playing. And now, nah, man, check the ball. Time, bro. No I don't got time to none of that. Hey, hey, hey. Congratulations to TMT for winning the 2021 championship. It's empowering for a young person to, to be a champion of anything. You feel like king of the hill. Can't nobody tell you nothing. You are the king of the hood. A good day, it was thousands of people there and it was a safe environment. The energy in the park was is amazing. We could continue that type of narrative, then we're, we're, we're good. I, I, I'll take that all day long. We got through the day, and which was really great, and everybody get home safe. Thank you for coming out. God bless and good night. When the championship day ends, basketball do not end at Dykeman. The park is breaking down, the bleachers are gone, but the kids in the community will still come out there and play at Dykeman. People in that community breathe it. Everyone from the community, they all come to play and watch basketball. I'm three blocks away up the hill. It's just a great thing to be a part of. I went to George Washington High School. This area, I remember it when it was very, very different. Okay, to see it addressing the needs of the community that's, that's here now. But most importantly, what he did 
for the community alongside with the community. Like you see the people just connect with the people in the community, you know? So did you get a book bag? All right, good, good. All right, take care. It's not just about basketball for those, for those 30 days. It's more about for the community to come together and still be part of Dykeman and come together and play and be safe and knowing that y'all build and develop a relationship with each other that y'all can still be able to have that even when Dykeman basketball leaves. This doesn't work if the community doesn't accept it. The community has to accept it and, and, and embrace it in order for all this stuff that we're doing in order for it to work. This is ours, not mine. This is ours. It's, it's a family thing. Right. It's a street ball family. Yes. The team of people that we have on staff makes me stronger and keeps me together for a lot of things that we're supposed to do. It's more than just Ken Stevens. You know, we're just wired for it. We love each other and we take care of each other and we've got each other's backs and, you know, we're going to make sure that we support each other and no matter whatever it is that we do, we are here for each other. You really have to have a real love. It's got to be a, a organic and genuine love in order to, to do what we do because, again, this is done every day, every day, every week. People that are putting their hearts and soul into this tournament to make it happen for the community. And to look where we were and where we are now, I feel great and proud. Dykeman has definitely given me the safetyness of family. Dykeman everything for me. I think I'm gonna be around for way longer than I expected. It's an obligation. For me, it's an obligation, period. The tournament is created by all of us to where it is right now. Whether you was a referee, whether you was a ball player, whether you was a coach, whether you was one of the table staff, all of us has created it, not just me. We'll, we'll continue on and we'll see how far we go moving forward. I'm gonna continue on for as long as I can. What does it look like the next 30 years? I don't know, time will tell.